Hi guys, it's Royal Quine and here's another making up movie idea on the spot. It is the third one I've done. Well, this is going to be the third one. And if this is your first time watching any of these videos, basically what I do is I pick one genre, one place, and three other items and I have to come up with a movie idea on the spot and I try to go in as many details as possible. As always, you can comment below other items you want me to add to my list. Something about yesterday's video is I realize I say um and you know way too often, so I'm going to try my best to not do that this time. I don't have anything else to say, so let's get into it. It has been interesting and fun so far, so we'll see what we get today. So this is my genre bag. <laughs> said my name's Royal Klein, right? Okay. Let's see what we get. Hopefully it's good. Romance. Um, oh god, I just said, um, we're, we're working on it, guys. It's good speech practice. So with romance, it could just be, you know, romance, romance, but a lot of romance movies are romantic comedies, or have other elements to it. It's not usually just romance. So we'll see what the other items give me. Places, locations. <laughs> Texas. <laughs> um, Texas. So I've never been to Texas. I don't know much about Texas. When I think of Texas, Texas, I think of cowboys, guns, rednecks. I might be like a city in Texas. I may end up doing like Austin or Dallas. I have cousins who live in Dallas. Okay. Three other items. Hopefully something good. Sometimes locations aren't important, so it might end up not being that important. We shall see. One. Two. I feel like... So we got the emotion scared. Own. <laughs> and somehow we also got new. I don't know, we're gonna need to like mix this up more, but that's what we have. It's a romance movie, so I'm gonna go in the direction of romantic comedy. We'll see how much comedy is involved, but it will have romance. Takes place in Texas. So with the old and the new, I'm thinking there's an old romance and a new romance. And maybe from that someone is scared. So in my mind, I am picturing cowboy hats, and in my mind, I am picturing a female lead. So I kind of am thinking of a Texas suburban place, not so like suburban that it's like farms. I mean, I don't really know what counts as suburban. I live in a city, but I'm seeing a female lead and she there's not it's it's very these couple things are very vague it's not like specific things so i do have a lot of freedom right here so i see this female lead and she has this boyfriend but she you know is i said you know <laughs> she's going to la for college perhaps and she's leaving him and she's scared, but they decide to break up because 
she's going away for four years and there's going to be this distance and that if they find each other, then one day they will find, come back together, I guess. Yeah. So it's four years later and she works really well in LA and everything's going well. But she is a little bit of a workaholic and you know, her, I said, you know, we're working on it guys, we're working on it. Her co-workers are like, we need to get you out there, you need to get out there girl. And so she meets, so they take her out. She meets this guy at a bar and he is, it's love at first sight. He's definitely the one. It's amazing. And they fall in love very quickly and it's really easy going. But he has to go back to his hometown in Texas. No, wait. See, I have to think about it. I have to think about it. No, that's not, no. Because if I had him be the reason to go to Texas and then she drops everything for him, no. I'm going to have it that she has to go back to her hometown in Texas. Perhaps her job wants her to go there. I don't really know her job yet. Maybe she's like a journalist or something. And so perhaps her whatever she works for, the company she works for, wants, or wants all their journalists or writers to do something about their hometown because maybe you know small hometowns are very in and they want her there for six months to unravel everything that's happening in her hometown perhaps her hometown oh my god this sounds so hallmark oh my god i'm making a hallmark film Oh, I hate Hallmark movies, and this sounds like a Hallmark movie. Should I start over? This is stupid, because the Texas part is just really throwing me off. Does the movie really have to be in Texas? Okay, we're gonna not make this a Hallmark film. We're gonna not do this. So, she falls in love with this guy this new guy but her company wants to transfer she gets promoted in her work so her company wants to transfer her to their offices in Austin Texas keeping it in the city keeping it in a city and so you know she's like to her new boo like I have to go to Austin Texas and he comes with her and they, they go to Austin, Texas. But perhaps she still is a journalist. Perhaps she's still a journalist. And she does interviews and one day she interviews this guy that's saying, I know your ex. And she's like, what? What? And and he's talking about you know her old ex-boyfriend and so then he's like on her mind she can't stop thinking about him and so she she goes she she finds him somehow she you know does research she's a journalist she finds him somehow and connects to him with him and he is like, this is what we've been waiting for. We found each other again. But she's like, hey, I have a new boyfriend. Like, no, no. 
Did I put the scared part in enough? I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is probably the worst one. It's just so weird because most of my ideas I do have written down, a lot of them are romantic comedies. So the fact that I'm failing at this, I think the Texas part just threw me off. Like if it wasn't Texas, I could do this. <laughs> But at least I avoided it from becoming a Hallmark movie because in every Hallmark movie, someone moves away from their ex-boyfriend to a big city but then goes back to the small town and falls back in love. So at least I avoided that. We're not back in their small town but it is still Texas. It's a city in Texas. Perhaps her ex-boyfriend has this very interesting business. Like I don't want to think that he's could like famous famous feel like that's been done so many times in romantic comedies but he does have this business and maybe someone in her work has heard of it and they want her to write a piece about it so she has to start interacting with him more but she still hasn't told her new boyfriend about him and maybe I'm trying to think what this business this guy could have maybe it's an art gallery and he has this big opening night coming and she goes but she doesn't tell her boyfriend about it but somehow he finds out about it and was like why are you trying to hide this from me and he comes to the art gallery and they meet and then her new boyfriend's mad about her ex-boyfriend because it's so obvious her ex-boyfriend's trying to win her back god this is awful how do i make this different than every single romantic comedy that is done it's hard because I've never come up with a romantic comedy in this way. It's some sort of other idea that I have. Maybe she has this huge big fight with her new boyfriend and they break up and he goes back to LA. And so then her old boyfriend is like, it's time now, right? And she's like, no, I need some, I just broke up, I need some break. But of course he's trying to do all these things to win her back and win her affections and her new boyfriend, new ex-boyfriend in LA realizes his mistake and comes back to Austin, Texas and wants to win her back so you know she, she got the new boyfriend, new ex-boyfriend and the old ex-boyfriend fighting over her, trying to win her affection. There can be a lot of comedical elements there with bring her flowers and trying to one-up each other. I just saw um, Bridget Jones' baby where, you know, the two of them were trying to one-up each other in a way. So I think that could be funny. It's so weird I got the new and the old in this. Oh, old could have been old person. Well, it's the direction I went in. Now I have to stick it with it. But maybe they both take it way too far that she's gets in trouble in her work because some big commotion happens at a big event and it looks bad to her. It brings problems to her job. Like maybe she loses a big interview prep. And so now she's scared, she's going to lose her job and everything. It tells both of them, you have to stop, you have to stop, or I'm going to lose my job. And in the end, she does not lose her job. But, because she's friends with her boss. But her boss is like, this can never happen again, you have to figure out what you want to do. And in the end, she goes to her old ex-boyfriend and says you are a great first boyfriend you're always there for me but i had this instant connection to this other guy this soulmate this destiny destiny kind of feeling that i don't have with you you're amazing but it's not gonna be the same and she goes to the new ex-boyfriend and she's scared she, coming to him but she t pours his feelings out to her and they end up together so as you can tell i don't know if you could tell but i struggled the most with this one which is so crazy because i love coming up with romantic comedies 
I think Texas threw me the fact that the three other items weren't as specific. I almost went made a Hallmark movie idea, but I caught myself before it. I did that. But I still don't believe that this idea is that strong. Potentially it could be made into film, but compared to my two other days that I did this and compared to the ideas that I've written down, this is not that great. I'm not gonna lie, it's not that great, but that's what happens and hopefully as I continue this, I can get better and that's the struggle. That's the struggle with doing this and not knowing what you, you're going to get. And I hope, hopefully this wasn't a complete fail, maybe only a little bit of a fail. But I tried my best and that's, that's all I can do. Maybe if I wasn't trying to make a video that was in less than 20 minutes, I could have pondered with these words longer and came up with a better idea. I can't believe I almost made a homework movie idea. Oh god. I feel like if someone from homework sees this, they're gonna take the, the first direction I was going with. Because that's like every school movie they do. But in the end, she did not end up with her ex-boyfriend, which happens. In all the Hallmark movies, she does end up with her ex-boyfriend. So, it's, it's different, I guess. I didn't go into that many details. I wish I could have, but I, I was kind of lost in this one. And that's what happens sometimes. It's not always the greatest or best idea. Sometimes you just have to go with things. And hopefully next time I do this, it's better. And hopefully you seeing this doesn't make you be like, oh, I can never watch her videos again. Because I promise it will be better. And my ideas that I've written down are so, so good that I'm never going to share them because they're so good. I don't want anyone to steal them. I don't care if someone steals this idea, but so my ideas. Oh, okay. So thank you guys for watching. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Love you guys. And bye.